Hey Drew, this is Josh from Josh and Danny SEO. I'm just shooting you over that video about how you can improve your online presence. So just taking a look at your website, it's a really nice site. You got a, a great header, um, you got your logo, you got all your drop downs. everything is just in its place, which is awesome. Um, and then of course you have a click to call, which is great when they first get to your site, quickly get on, on the phone with you. And then going down, you talk about what type of flooring you do and all the exterior service and interior service that you do all the remodeling and then of course why choose y'all um and it just goes down you do have a decent bit of content um i would say you have around 400 yeah about 400 words which is pretty good um what google is looking for nowadays is about 1500 to 2000 words on your home page and then of course about five to 750 on all your service pages and everything like that so that you can put organic keywords throughout your site. Now, what an organic keyword is, is a buyer intent word that someone's putting into Google in order to find your service. But before I get deeper into keywords, let's check behind the scenes and see what's going on with your site. The way we do that is with a, a system called AREFs. And when we put your website in, coldstreaminteriors.com, out pops your rankings. So your UR rating and your DR rating, those are the two most important things. So your UR rating is the strength of your website. The DR rating is the trust of your website, is the, Google, is the trust Google places in it. Now, ideally, we want both these numbers to be between 30 and 40 with a ratio of one to one. That's what we call the golden ratio. Now, the way we build those and get that ratio is with the backlinks. Now, what a backlink is, is any link from another website that leads back to yours. Now, all backlinks are not created equal. For example, a backlink from Wikipedia would be an awful backlink because that's super spammy. However, a backlink from a flooring blog or a home remodeling blog would be awesome because it's relevant to your service. Now, another important thing, we're getting back to those keywords. What buyer intent words are you, is your website ranking for? So that when someone types something in, your website will pop up. Let's check. So you have 44. So Cincinnati pa Patio Company. Great. Uh, you're on the second page for that. Uh, Sunroom Cincinnati, sec bottom of the second page for that. Uh, Sunroom Cincinnati, bottom of the second page. That's you. Patio Installation. So you are getting some good keywords. Um, it's just either you've just started putting stuff in, and as you can see, it's all new. Um, however, with what you have as far as the backend stuff, I'm not sure if your website's strong enough to beat some of these other companies out. Um, water mitigation, and then of course, this would be, you don't have some of the top ones. Oh, Cincinnati Flooring, there it is, 300. You're right now on the sixth page. So that's, as you can see, one of your highest volume words you can have um, for your website, because that's volume 300. Now, I'm just going to focus more on the, the flooring aspect because we can go through for hours about all the different styles um, for sunroom, patio, uh, flooring, kitchen designing. So we're just going to focus on the flooring and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we put that keyword in, flooring Cincinnati. Out pops, of course, the results. So first things first, you have your GMB. Now, the Google Map Pack is super important to get on because 30 to 40% of all people will stop right here and pick one of these three people because that's just the easiest thing to do. Doesn't mean they're the best, just means that they rank the best. And then you have your organic rankings by strength of website and your top competitor, McSwain Carpet and Floors. Let's check out what they're doing and why they're ranking number one. So of course they are a flooring store, but they're still getting all that traffic. And then of course they're just going to subcontract it out. So why don't why can't you just get it yourself um, and then earn twice the amount? So McSwain Carpet and Floors, they have their nice header. They don't have a click to call, which is unfortunate, but they do have a lot of stuff going on. And then going down, they talk about what floors they do, benefits, and free consultation and design. So they don't have a terrible amount on their homepage. Uh, they certainly don't meet their criteria of 1,500 to 2,000 words. But let's check behind the scenes and see why their website is doing so well. So as you can see, they're hitting that golden ratio. Their UR rating is 37 and their DR rating is 35. So they have a strength of 37 and a 
and a trust of 35. So Google's like, this guy is strong. We're going to rank them. Um, the reason being is because they have 13,000 different backlinks helping them along, as well as they they have 2.9K um, of keywords they're ranking for. So Google's like, they have a strong website that also are showing that they want to rank for all these words by having a lot of content. We're going to rank them. So that's why we're going to check out their keywords. Uh, McSwing Carpets, that's them. Flooring Cincinnati, first first real position, as you saw, they're getting 94 people from that. Flooring Stores Cincinnati, 250, second real position, they're getting 35 people from that. Cincinnati Flooring, 300, uh, second or third real position, 30 people from that. So as you can see, for the buyer intent keywords, they're getting the traffic. So if we're looking to beat them out, first things first, we got to raise those backlinks. You want to get as many or more as your competitor. Great thing is they left your roadmap. You know these 13,000 work. You can take them for yourself. Add them to yours. And then, of course, that'll help boost your URD because it's working for them. It'll work for you. And then you need that content. 1,500 to 2,000 words on your homepage and then five to 750 on all your service pages to truly explain what, what you're doing and what services you provide. So Google could say, so you can organically put those buyer intent words in, so Google could start ranking you for them. Because if they don't know what you do or and where you do it, they're not gonna rank you. So it's super important to put that content in. Now you do both of those, put them together, you'll start seeing more traffic and of course more calls to your site. Now, I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to reach back out to me. And if you can leave some feedback, that would be awesome. You have a nice rest of your day, man.